Andrew manages the standards process and oversees all certification and testing programs for the Open Group. Since joining the company in 1996, Andrew has led many standards development projects, including specification and certification development for the Archimate, TOGAF, POSIX, and UNIX programs, among others. He's a member of the IEEE, Usenix, Floss UK, and the Association of Enterprise Architects. And in this video, Andrew will outline the training and certification vision for the new OAA standard, which is something we've already had a question about. So. If this doesn't answer your question um, or your questions, then uh, please submit them again and we'll uh, we'll get to Andrew on the panel. So please play Andrew's video. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening and welcome. My name is Andrew Josie. I'm the Vice President for Standards and Certification at the Open Group. I'm here to talk about the Open Group vision for the ecosystem around the Open Agile Architecture Standard. I'm going to be talking about three things today. Firstly, I'll start by talking about agility and agile and the open agile architecture standard itself. I'll then move to talk about the open group vision for training and also the open group vision for certification. Firstly, let's talk about agile and agility. These are two of the hottest buzzwords in the industry today and the need for organizations to demonstrate agility has become a priority. What we have seen is that deploying agile at scale is too often done at the expense of architecture. This has led to the need for architecture with agility. This is something we term as agile architecture. Gartner defines agile architecture as architecture practices that embrace the principles and values of agile, which enable the continuous delivery of valuable software. The open agile architecture standard provides an approach to architect at scale with agility. As shown in this diagram, digital and agile transformation go hand in hand. The focus on the technology required for digital transformation is not enough. Organizational agility is key. That is the cultural dynamics of a company are just as important as the technology. Tim Fantaine and his co-authors show that technology is not the biggest challenge. They say that cutting edge technology and talent are not enough companies must break down organizational and cultural barriers that stand in the way. The Open Agile Architecture Standard provides guidance and best practices for enterprise architects seeking to transition to agile and digital contexts. It is a set of best practices and techniques for architecting with agility, with a focus on the holistic needs of organizations undergoing digital transformation. This journey towards digital transformation is built upon the development of autonomous and cross-functional teams able to respond to and act upon rapid feedback loops with strong problem solving abilities while upholding a fine balance between freedom, responsibility and accountability. The 16 axioms presented in the OAA standard highlight an approach that is very human centered, focused on relationship building based upon customer driven outside in thinking reliant upon a need to tune into underlying assumptions, both explicit and latent. Moving on to look at the standard itself, um, what we call the body of knowledge. The first deliverable in the body of knowledge is now available. This 200 page document is the first in a planned set of titles from the Open Group Architecture Portfolio addressing agility and digital transformation. This is available from the library as document C208, so at the URL shown there. Additional titles planned will include playbooks on security, cloud and modernization. Moving on to think about training, we foresee initially two approaches for training. Firstly, there will be knowledge-based training for individuals who are architects in a team, so team members participating in digital transformations. And secondly, we would have practical training for architects who are leading transformations. So those who are architects transforming an enterprise towards an agile at scale operating model. And we would foresee introducing certifications for these two levels of training. These are our initial thoughts on the syllabus for an open agile architecture team member training course. Um, this would be targeted at individuals working in outcome-based, team-led and product-centric organizations. Um, obviously for individuals who wish to understand how agile architecture is used to support 
a dual agile and digital transformation. Also for enterprise architects who are seeking to transition into agile and digital contexts. It also be for those ag agilists who need to understand the importance of architecture when shifting towards an agile at scale model and who want to learn architecture skills. And here we have an outline syllabus. So it'll be looking at the role of architecture when deploying agile at scale, insights into business agility, how intentional architecture and continuous architecture complement each other, characteristics of an agile organization, when and how to use the open agile architecture building blocks, the axioms for agile architecture, and the mental model change that agile architecture requires. Finally, here's a, a look at um, possible certifications. Uh, as I mentioned, we will foresee an open agile architecture team member certification. As I mentioned, that's for people participating in projects, and then also an open agile architecture certification for, for architects leading, and that's what we might call the open agile architecture practitioners. I hope you've gained a little bit of knowledge today about um, how we plan to go with the open agile architecture ecosystem. Um, you can reach out to me here on LinkedIn, or you can follow me on Twitter. Thank you.